You're watching the Auction Network. Foolish bidders, disembodied torsos and horror movie props combine for the perfect Halloween auction. Hundreds of bidders from around the world scared up top dollar at the Fangoria Horror Auction in Dallas, Texas. Famed horror movie magazine Fangoria joined forces with the Hollywood Roadshow and Super Auctions for the Spooktacular Auction. Featuring gory props from Hollywood's scariest movies. We've been in the video game uh, business, amusement auction business for 20 years, and one of our customers came to one of our auctions, and he bought a lot of amusement equipment, and we found out, discovered that he was the world's largest online seller of uh, props, and he thought it was a great idea to team up together and make it a live event with props and pinballs. Fangoria Magazine is sponsoring this event, and Fangoria is the world's largest horror magazine and website for horror fans. It benefits fallen police officers in the Dallas area and really police officers that have been killed in the line of duty and we're super, super proud to be part of uh, this event. Horror movie fans are deeply devoted collectors of the Hollywood props up for sale at the auction. I'm here uh, because I'm a serious movie buff and I'm looking at some of the props and uh, also some of the games. I'm a big uh, horror movie fan. Uh, we don't really get a lot of this kind of thing down in Dallas, so uh, it's a good way to spend uh, an afternoon in October. I thought it'd be pretty cool. If you have someone in your life who's a huge fan of these movies, this is the most unique time to do your holiday shopping. You buy it, don't tell them, you know, give them something, give them a sword, like Ali Larder's sword from you know, Resident Evil Extinction. These are one-of-a-kind items. That great state in Dallas, Texas. For the 1,800 bidders worldwide, we'd like to say hello to you too as well. We're going to have a lot of fun today. The bidding kicked off with the reigning ghoul, the Crypt Keeper. The yeah, pitballs come from all around the country, uh, different uh, manufacturers as well as operators of equipment that uh, consign the equipment to our auction for this special event here today. Tales from the Crypt Pinball Machine. I have a thousand already, now 1100. I'm a thousand here, now 1100. And it's very clean for 1100. I'm a thousand now, 1100, even 11, 11, 11, 11, 1100. Can't use it. I'm a thousand now, cheap. Now 1000, now 1100. Anybody else? All done. I have a thousand right here. Now 11, now 12. I'm 11 here, now 12. I'm 11 now, 1200. I'm 11 now, 12. Well, this is 1,200, now 13. Smoking deal. I'm 12, now 1,300. I'm 12, now 13. 12, now 1,250. 1,250. 1,250 worth every dime. Last week's $2,000. I'm 12, now 1,250. 1,250. Give me a quarter. 12 and a quarter, one time. 1,225. Yeah. 12, 12. I knew you wanted to bid. I could feel it. Now 12 and a half. 12 and a half. 12 and a half. 12 and a half. So 12 and a quarter, one dime. As it tells from the Crip pinball machine, it's pretty much a vintage pinball machine. Uh, I've been wanting one for a while. I run the Slaughterhouse Haunted House over here in the West End, and I'm into horror-type themes, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted it. The bidding quickly turned to the highlights of the Fangoria auction, the bloodied and scary props from dozens of classic horror movies. These come directly from the studios, and we work with the studios to market their films and also sell the props and wardrobe items, actually during the theatrical and the DVD release. So all these come directly to us, at our warehouse in Los Angeles. Everything is authentic and everything's you know, really authenticated by the studio. Movie fans were not the only ones ready to bid on the pieces of horror history. The major movie studios and producers, they love the event. They're more attracted, believe it or not, to the video games and pinball machines. We have some of the actors that are bidding on the phone. The biggest lots of the day came from one of the scariest movies of all time, Halloween. This is Michael Myers. Screen warrant, the overall six feet and eight inches tall. We have 3,000, now 32 and a half. On 3,000, 32 and a half. On 3,000, 32 and a half. 32 and a half, now 35. On should be $10,000 easy. On 3,000, 32 and a half, now 35. 32 and a half, now 35, 35. On 32 and a half, 35, 35. On 32 and a half, 35, 3,500. 3,500, 3,500. Going, going, going. Are we done? 3,500. Sold it. 3,250. We're done. Shot in 1979, Halloween was recently named the fifth scariest movie of all time by Entertainment Weekly. And villain Michael Myers is one of the most recognizable horror film characters of all time. 
and his tools of the trade are priceless among collectors. Anything that anyone's killed with, anything that you see blood squirting out of someone, that again, you know, that's going to be an iconic uh, prop. That one 10, that one 20, 120, 130, 150, 175, down 200, 200, 200, now 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, Well, you know, that's a, a, a very iconic piece of film history, you know, the, uh, the weapon of Michael Myers. I mean, how can you pass up on that? I think I got an excellent price. Um, a couple of knives from Resident Evil Extinction went for like several hundred dollars more, you know, a, a couple of uh, auctions later. It's a little bit of a rush. The masks have to look real. They, they cannot look for the least slight eye, the tiny bit fake, because our fans, as you know, horror fans, will watch these movies 10, 20, 30 times, will freeze frame the actual, you know, the actual scene when they buy it on DVD and that's got to look real, and they know. I mean, we can't fool our horror fans. And none is as realistic as this pumpkin mask from Halloween 3. I have 1,100 already, now 1,200. I'm 11, now 12. I'm 11, now 1,200. I'm 11, now 12, 1,200. I'm 11, now 12, 1,200. 1,200, 12, 1,200. 1,200, I'm 11, now 12, 12. Halloween 3, here's your chance, and only chance. I'm 11, now 1,200. Direct from the studio to you. I'm 11, now 1,200. I'm 11, now 12, 1,200. Anybody else? All done. Smoking deal right here. 11, now 1,200, 12, 12. Phone lines are now open. 11, now 1,200, are we done? Every hand should be up on this one, you know? So $1,100. Cult horror classic fans quickly bid up the price for a signed photo of director George Romero. Romero is the king of the zombie movies. He wrote and directed the 1978 classic, Dawn of the Dead. Of 50 all over the house, now 75, now 100, now 125, 100 and a quarter, 125. We can see that again. 100 and a quarter, 150, 125, 150. This is priceless. 125, 150, now 175, 175, now 200, now 250, of course. 250, give me the quarter there. 225, 225, anybody else? 225, 225, anybody else? 225. Sold for $200. I bought the photo because it's signed by the director of the Doll of the Dead movie, George A. Romero, and he's surrounded by a bunch of zombies in the photo. I had a great time today. It was a lot of fun to see what some great buys there were on these items and then what certain ones went for that you would even expect it to go for a lot more. Few other auctions offer fully disemboweled corpses, as seen in Wing Commander. All right, right behind Rob, on the couch, his college roommate, there it is. This is the Wing Commander corpse right here. That is amazing detail, it weighs about 100 pounds plus. It is actually a very great prop. So there it is, take a good look at it, Rob. All right, here we go, right over here. All right, right. All right what, what are we at? 1,200 to start, I'm now 1,300. I'm 1,200, I'm 13, 13. I'm going to 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 13, 13. 13, 1,300. I'm going to 13, 13, 13. I'm about 1,300. You have it, 13. Now 14. I'm 13, now 1,400. I'm 13, now 1,400. I'm 13, go 1,400. I'm 13, look at it, look at it. I'm 13, now 1,400. I'm 13, go 1,400. 13, go 14, 14 going, going. I'm 13, go 1,400, 1,400. This is Mila Jovovich's main hero outfit from Resident Evil Extinction. You can see her uh, trench coat, her uh, blouse, and also her leggings are attached as well. This is really an iconic piece. 55, 5700. I'm $5,500 right here now. 5750. I'm 55 and 5750. I'm 55 and 5750. I'm 55 and 5750. 5750. 
5750. Where are you gonna buy this, folks? 55 to 5750. Anybody else? Now $6,000. 57 to 6000 6000 Up to $6,000. $6,000. $6,000. Anybody else? Sold $5,750. Excellent buy right there. Lot number 315 from Halloween. Young Michael Myers. Clown costume. Repeat. 35, let's go for 3600. 35, pick up 3600. 35, wanna be 36. Key prop here, guys. Wanna be 3600. Now 37. I got $3,750. Now 3850. Now $3,850. 3850. No 3850. 3850. 3850. One of the best props in the show here today. I got 3800 bid. Wanna be 3050. And I sold it $3,800. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers 2, the amazing sequel, the creature wing set as pictured here. This thing is big, it's fun, let's do it. All right, we get $2,500, we got $2,500, we got $1,000, $1,100, that's $1,200. Now 1400 I'm $1,400 to $1,500, I'm $1,400 to $1,500, I'm $1,400 right here, now $1,500. I'm $1,500 to $1,500, $1,500, I'm $1,500 to $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500,